morning everyone my name is Akesh Gupta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how to add, how to save information from screen onto session level variables using RNSP Designer. In addition we will also try to consume the information that's saved in the session level variables just to confirm that the information indeed was saved. So to begin with let's actually work with the same application that we have been working here so I'm just going to basically look at the application user account and when we add a user account, a new user account, we can add a make model ear, which is our continuation from the last example of make model ear implementation. Let's come up with a use case where when we add a new user account, we would like the make ID to be defaulted to the last make ID that was used by this user, by the logged in user to save a new account. So the expected use case here is when a user is trying to add a new user account record, they input all the information, they select a make, and then they save a user account. When they come back to the adding a user account screen, we would like the make ID to be automatically defaulted to the last make ID that was used on the screen by this logged in user, and then the model ID should automatically adapt to this defaulted make ID. So let's basically begin by going first into the make ID. And of course, uh, by default, every single thing is working as is. We can go to the Formula tab. And within the Formula tab, there's a, a like a group by the name Save Into. And Save Into, by default, system is saving only into the database. But we can click on Session Variable and also basically define the new name of the variable, My Last Make. So the system will basically, whenever you save a record, which will take the Make ID, it's sending it to the database for saving it to a user account record that's we are not changing but in addition whatever the make ID has been selected is also being saved into a variable session level session level variable which is my last make ID let's make it my last make ID and save it and rebuild it so now when somebody will go and add a user account it will automatically save this value but how do we confirm that this value indeed was the right value so in order to confirm, let's actually just look uh, in the initialize uh, area of the formula and when we are adding a new record, by default system is automatically being told to go to the default value of the make ID. But let's actually override it by saying don't look there, rather bring it from the session. So bring it from the functions, environment, session. And the name of the variable that we assigned was my last make ID. So as you can see when we are saving the information we basically save the make ID into my last make ID and when we are retrieving uh, while initializing uh, the page we are retrieving it from session. Of course for the very first time when a user logs into the, uh, the application first time and try to go into the user account the make ID will not be there because there's nothing in the last session level variable. So we just want to confirm a few things. Let's see how easy, uh, of course it was very easy to implement it. Let's see if it indeed worked. And then we can make a conclusion that it was fairly easy to implement this R in RNSP Designer. So now that I've rebuilt the application, let's go back, try to go back and log in. System will probably ask me for a login again. And let's, first of all, we want to confirm that when the user logs in for the first time, and I click on user, click on new user account record. I don't have anything in make ID and the system did not break, which basically means if the session level variable is not populated, RSP designer will ignore it and it will go as normal, which is what it did. So now let's basically, we can pick uh, Toyota, we can pick Camry, we can pick one year, and uh, let's come with the account user A, Let's make everything user A, just to be consistent. So, we basically ha are just about to add a user A, whose make is Toyota, and so on, and we can click Save and Close. Now, after I clicked on Save and Close, I added user A, system definitely added the user account. Now when I click back to go back to add another user account by the name, say, user B, as you can see, system automatically remembered what the last make was and automatically defaulted. Not only that, it also brought in the proper makes for the 
theta. But this time we do have an option to overwrite because it was only bringing in what was the default value. So say for example we can bring in another make and try to add this as user b. And select row. So now when I click on add add this, we are expecting GM to be saved into the my last make ID. And since user B was saved, I am actually assuming session level variable was saved. To confirm that, let's click on add and now we are expecting the make to be pre-populated with GM and it is. So as you can see, it was very straightforward to add a session level variable into the application which uh, it's going to save some information in a session and then consume that session level variable into your following uh, like into the subsequent processing of course once a session level variable is saved using the front end it's also accessible if you're writing some kind of code hope you enjoyed the video and keep looking for more thanks for watching